Hello and welcome back to the Ten Born. I'm Pragmatic Lee and to, before we get into today's video I want to just give you a little bit of an update. I know it's been several weeks since I've posted a video. Um, I'm still alive, doing fine. However, uh, there's been several things that's kind of interfered with my uh, YouTube uh, video creation. One thing in particular, uh, I've got a piece of rental property uh, next door here that uh, uh, my tenant's been in for a little over eight years now and he's got some health issues and he's got to leave and so I've been kind of preoccupied with uh, uh, getting ready uh, for his move out and and getting the building ready to rent again. It's a, uh, a 50 by 75 uh, uh, commercial building. That coupled with a uh, couple other things, uh, one in particular, I didn't really have any projects in line. Uh, I am working on my surface grinder. Uh, I've got some issues with that. The oil pump quit and I'm in the process of trying to take it down, take it apart now. But previous history uh, has been an indication that the majority of you guys are not interested in surface grinder videos. Uh, I got very few views on the uh, uh, my recent ones or in the last few months on the surface grinder. So I've not really been videoing that. I'm, I may get into videoing it when I actually start replacing the pump. Right now I'm in a teardown state. But I've got a, a very small upcoming project where I want to mount this uh, 6 inch grinding wheel. This is just a standard uh, bench grinder wheel. I want to make an arbor for that to to mount this on just a straight shaft uh, electric motor. Uh, it'll be for a little upcoming project uh, and again I will try to uh, to video the making of the arbor itself. But today's video is going to be very very short. It's simply making this flange washer. Now as most of you I'm sure are aware on a bench grinder where you got the wheels or not only a bench grinder but a buffer uh, those type of rotating tools whether it be a buffer wheel, a wire wheel, or a, uh, a stone wheel, you need this flange washer, flange washer to go on the outside edge of it. Your arbor would, of course, be sticking through the hole. This would go over, and what that does is help spread the load to a su circumference around the uh, implement, whatever it is, be a uh, wheel like this or a buffing wheel, uh, wire wheel, whatever the case may be. So again, this is going to be a real short video in making this flange, flange washer. Flat on one side and on the other side has the flange to mount up against here.
Okay, as I said, it was going to be a very short video, and it was about four minutes. Uh, but I think you, or I hope you enjoyed the process that I went through of making this flange washer. Uh, it didn't take very long. The longest part, of course, of it was, of course, uh, uh, band sawing it off to length. But I hope you got a little bit out of it and maybe enjoyed watching it. And I'll try within the next week or so to get this video made of making this arbor so I can mount that uh, grinding wheel on the shaft, directly mounted on the shaft of an electric motor. And hopefully over the next month or so, uh, I'll be able to, to get some other projects out and the situation with the rental building, get it ready to either rent out again or possibly move the tin born shop out into it, uh, which I doubt will happen. I was kind of counting on the income from that building as part of retirement. But in any case, stick with me on the channel here. I've got some personal things i got to take care of, but I'll be back to posting regular videos soon. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video.